Greetings, beloved viewers, and welcome back to Discovering Christianity. Today, we delve into a topic that many of us may encounter at some point in our journey, the challenge of handling situations when others spread falsehoods about us. As followers of Christ, we turn to the timeless wisdom of the Bible to glean insights on navigating such delicate matters. Join me as we explore what Scripture teaches us about dealing with lies and false accusations. Let's begin with Proverbs 12:19, which declares, Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. This verse reminds us of the enduring power of truth and the fleeting nature of deceit. As Christians, we are encouraged to anchor ourselves in the truth, knowing that God's ultimate justice will prevail. In the face of lies, trust in the eternal nature of God's truth. Turning our attention to the Psalms, specifically Psalm 34 13-14, we find counsel on the importance of our speech. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Turn away from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. These verses guide us to speak with integrity and pursue peace, even in the midst of falsehoods. In times of adversity, let our words be a reflection of the goodness and truth found in Christ. As we face the challenge of others lying about us, let us draw inspiration from the teachings of Jesus in Matthew 5:44. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. This profound statement challenges us to respond with love and prayer when confronted with falsehoods. By extending grace to those who wrong us, we embody the transformative power of Christ's love in our lives. Romans 12 21 empowers us with a powerful directive, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Rather than succumbing to bitterness or retaliation, let us respond to falsehoods by overcoming them with acts of goodness and kindness. This approach not only aligns with the teachings of Christ but serves as a powerful testimony to the transformative work of God in our hearts. In addition to these foundational principles, Philippians 4 8 offers practical guidance. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Focusing our minds on these positive attributes can help guard our hearts against the negativity that may arise from false accusations. In conclusion, facing false accusations and deceit can be emotionally challenging, but as Christians, we are equipped with the timeless guidance of God's Word. Embrace the enduring power of truth, let your speech be marked by integrity and pursuit of peace, respond with love and prayer, and overcome evil with acts of goodness. In doing so, may you navigate these challenging moments with the grace and wisdom found in Scripture. Thank you for joining us today, and may the peace of God be with you as you walk in His truth. God bless.